Hey everybody, console collector here. Welcome back to another pickups video. This one's going to be pretty short, so let's just get right into it. I stopped off at a thrift store and picked up a couple games and some movies. So starting off with some DVDs, I picked up A League of Their Own. This is a really great movie that I enjoyed when I was younger. Picked up Herbie Fully Loaded. Mr. Mom. This one is super cool to find. This is a corn DVD and it has a whole bunch of their music videos. I'm a big fan of corn, so I thought this was a super cool thrift store find. Then I found the Blind Date Uncensored, dates from Heck. I actually used to watch this when I was younger, late teens, and found it pretty entertaining, so that was cool. And then I found this movie, Zombie Apocalypse 2012 has a Ving Rhymes, which he's from the Dawn of the Dead remake, so might be good. And then this guy here, a sealed copy of Dogma Special Edition. Yeah, sealed. I already have this special edition, but I thought for the $4 that it was, and it's sealed, I'd pick it up. Dogma's a really interesting kind of cool movie. And then for games, found this for a dollar. It's True Lies on Game Gear. And then Baja Edge of Control. And this one is complete. Oh, there's my receipt. It's complete. I really like these Baja games. So I thought that was a pretty cool find. Alright, so that's it for the thrift store stuff. Later on that day after work, I went to Walmart actually. And found some cool stuff. First thing I found there, which was a complete instant buy... An Articuno figure. Yep, Articuno. They never have Articuno merch or toys or figures. So when I saw this, it was literally, pick it up, take it to the till. I am not passing this up. So I want to open it up and display it in the game room. So super, super excited about this Articuno here. Articuno is one of my favorite legends. So, yeah, absolutely had to grab it. They did have the Greninja there as well and the Charizard. No Rayquaza, but I was really only interested in this Articuno. And the box art is just so nice. Great find. Found a couple other things there. But before we get into that, a long time ago, I picked up this Back to the Future little mini TV. It's super kind of unique and cool. And... There's something really neat about it. You turn it on, and it basically has little clips from a TV show or movie. Okay. I'm going to skip this. There you go. Kind of hard to film it, but. So yeah, it's a really kind of just gimmicky little, neat little collectible, I guess. I really liked it. Well, I was at Walmart today and found some other ones. I got Friends. Star Trek. And Family Guy. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Star Trek or Friends. I do like Family Guy, but the reason why I wanted it was because there's four different of these mini TVs. You got your retro, your classic, and your millennial. And then obviously this one here, which is like vintage. Ultra retro. There it is. So four different ones. I love the Back to the Future one so much that, yeah, I wanted to get all four. So I'm going to open these up and have all four displayed. It's just a really cool thing for TV collectors, I guess. Am I a TV collector? I guess kind of. So yeah, now I'll have the Ultra Retro. The Retro. the This one here. Which is like a CRT. Like a Trinitron. And then the flat screen here. So again, ultra retro, retro, classic, and a flat screen. 
All right, I was way too excited to wait to open these, so I quickly unbox them and let's check them out. So here's the Ultra Retro with its little remote. Definitely old school looking. Very, very cool. Let's turn it on and it's Star Trek. <laughs> so cool. Alright. All right. Oh, it's even got... Look at that. And then everyone seen this one already, but let's just turn it on real quick. It's the Back to the Future one. What's cool about this one, too, is it actually comes off the little trolley here. If you unscrew it. Oh, it's a little loud. There you go. And then we got the classic CRT. This one's really thick, like a Trinitron. Definitely very cool. It's got like a old stool, old school kind of stand too, which is neat because all the stands are very period correct. So cool. And then finally, the modern flat screen. A matching kind of stand, period correct stand. Even has all the controls in the back, just like a modern TV. So if we turn them all on, we got all four, ultra retro, retro, classic, and modern. And then really quick, I also opened up Articuno here. Sits on the stand here. It's very poseable. Wings move. The claws all move. Super cool to finally have an Articuno figure because I always wanted one growing up. All right, so that's it for this round of pickups. All right, that's going to wrap up today's video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me on social media. The information is in the description below. I want to thank everybody for watching. I am the Console Collector, and until the next video, happy gaming.